Welcome to our lesson about using images in your sketches. Occasionally, you might need to use a scanned image or some napkin sketch as a basis for your drawing. For this purpose, Inventor lets you import images into your sketch. This might not be a great starting point if you're working on a part with great precision, but it is definitely a valuable technique. In this lesson, we're going to be importing a few images and then creating a sketch based on those images. Let's begin with a new part. Sketch 1 is active, and we're on the XY plane. From the Insert panel, let's select Image. We'll use the Side Image file. Here's a preview. Let's click Open. We place the image with a left mouse click. If I make a second mouse click, I will place it again in the graphic area. To escape, right click and done. Let's zoom all. And let's delete one of these images. Just right click and select delete. Let's say a couple words about these images themselves. If you've got a few different images that are a different size, it's not a bad idea to process them first in some kind of photo editor like Photoshop, for example. Let's say you've got a bottom view that's 600 pixels in length. You can resize the back view to 600 pixels as well. Now, if you don't have a photo editor like Photoshop, that's not the end of the world because Inventor will let you resize and rotate the image. However, you're not able to resize the aspect ratio in Inventor, so often it can be easier to clean up your images before you import them into Inventor. To resize an image, just grab it by a corner and then rotate or move it as required. We can also apply dimensions and relations to an imported image. Let's make this dimension 4 inches. OK. I'm only able to apply one dimension to an image. If I try to apply a second dimension, SolidWorks will prompt me to create a driven dimension instead. Let's cancel out of this window. And let's apply a couple relations. Line tool for construction. Dimension. Let's make this a 30 degree angle. Accept. Right click. Done. Now let's press F8. This is how we can see existing relations. We've got a perpendicular relation that was added automatically. I'll select it and then press Delete. Now let's apply a horizontal relation here and a collinear relation between this line and this edge. Let's apply a coincident constraint now between this point and this point. Right click and done. All right, let's select everything and delete it. OK, let's insert the side image again. Open. By the way, as you see here, we can use a variety of different file formats for our import. I'm using a JPEG. And I'll place it about here. Right click and done. Let's just settle it right here. And let's finish our sketch. I'm going to insert another sketch on the XZ plane. Right click, New Sketch, Insert Panel, Open Image. And let's choose the bottom image, Open. We'll place it about here. Right click and done. Let's change the orientation. Notice that the image will snap to a 90 degree angle. Let's move it to the correct position. And we'll resize a little bit. As you can see from my manipulation here, this is not an exact science. Let me adjust it just a little bit more. I'm just tweaking it to fit it best. OK, let's finish the sketch. And lastly, let's insert a new sketch on the YZ plane. 
Now let's pull in the front image. Open. And we'll place it about here. Right click and done. Once again, let's change the image orientation. Now even though we have the right view, you can still see the size and position of the image that we inserted previously. And that was the last image I had to insert, so after this point we're going to begin sketching. Okay, finish the sketch. Let's double click on Sketch 1 to activate it. And let's adjust our view and zoom in a little bit. OK, activate the Spline tool. Now we're going to sketch along the edge of this image. We'll just place a couple splines. Right click, Create. Let's do the other side now, a second spline. And right click Create. Now right click Done. Now we can fine tune the spline point locations by grabbing and dragging the spline points in the graphic area. We can also insert new points. This concludes our lesson about using images in your sketches.